Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, you have the Rhino. We're looking at this beer now. This beer has been out for a while. It was available in a mix pack for a long time but from Amsterdam, and I didn't want to buy the mix pack just for this beer, so I, I stayed away, and now it's out in a can. This is from Amsterdam Brewery. This is their Pale Rider, which is an El Dorado and Amarillo dry hop lager at 4.2% alcohol by volume. There you go. Um, I love... That Amsterdam's basically taken the Bone Shaker, which is a brand that did really well for them, and they were able to turn it into an entire segment of their brewery. I mean, they have the Cruiser, the Bone Shaker, the uh, the Fracture, the Pale Lager. Uh, well, this sorry, the Pale Rider. Sorry, all of a sudden my nostrils just blocked up. Did not want to do that on camera, but just all of a sudden, just boom, stuffed up. But yeah, I love that they've uh, played with it, and it's always the, the skeleton guy and all that. I love that. So 4.2% alcohol, beautiful uh, bright gold color. Not not that, like, reddy, orangey gold, but that bright gold color, bright white head. It's sticking around a little bit. Tiny bit of snap, crackle, poop. Scent. Okay, out of the glass, I get some lemon. Glass is lemon, orange juice, and pine. The can is very resiny to the point where it actually reminds me of skunk spray. Uh, not, not skunk spray by skunk spray, but you know, a skunk got ran over by a car, and it's been like... 45 minutes to an hour and you drive by and you just get that pungent scent in your nose. It's kind of like a very resiny hop. It just kind of attacks the nose and throat. But there's lemon and orange to it, but it's also very pungent and very resiny. And as I said, it reminds me of skunk spray. How do you know? Uh, I actually was sort of sprayed by a skunk. I walked through a cloud of skunk spray. It sprayed something, and I walked through, and it got on my coat and everything. I threw on my coat. That's why I haven't had a winter coat in about eight years. I, I'm, I'm cheap, and I don't buy stuff for myself, so I haven't had a winter coat since it got sprayed by the skunk. Let's try the beer. Cheers. I was a little worried about this, to be honest, because it's a 4.2% alcohol lager, so it's not going to have a big, big base, and Amsterdam has been known in the past to sometimes overhop, things go a little overboard. This is subtle, this is nice, this is very, very enjoyable. Mouthfeel, light. Carbonation, light. Flavor. Uh, malt flavor, not much. A little bit of sweetness, a little bit of bready biscuitiness in the back end. A little tiny touch of earthiness. Lots of orange flavor, well, not lots. Uh, there's a very apparent orange flavor, very apparent lemon flavor, very apparent uh, citrus notes, and a tiny touch of, uh, of a piney note. Very subtle, though, which mixes in with this very subtle lager very well. You know, to me, this would be, a, this even though it's a lager, this would be more what I would want taste-wise for an ISA than, say, Cruiser. I just really like the taste of this. Very apparent fruity, hoppy flavors, as well as a very nice lager, light lager base. And they work together in unison. So stylistically, as a light lager, dry hopped, or very hoppy and all that, probably not what you would normally see uh, voted on by BGCP or anything like that. However, for me personally, I like this. I would buy this again. I'm going to give this a 7.75 out of 10. This is a nice little beer. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Au revoir. I'll be on toast. See you soon. Bye-bye.